Hey guys, Jim here. Today I want to come to you with my 2024 YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame ballot. But before I get started, I want to talk about quickly about the contest I'm putting on right now that is running in conjunction with the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame balloting. And this is for channels that are less than one year, are not eligible to actually vote, but want to participate in the process. You can feel free to put out an unofficial ballot and get in on this contest that I'm doing. So, so far I have eight eligible people that have participated, and that is Video Guy, Hodges1455, Rocket Rick J, Commenting Collector, Collecting Maddox, Warren D and Clee, Billy Ballgame, and Southern Fried Cards. So thank you to you guys for participating. If there's anybody else that has put in a um, video response for this contest and I have not commented or I did not just mention your name, please let me know so I can make sure that you're included. Um, anybody else that wants to get in, if you're eligible, please feel free to do so. There's, the only requirement is that you're less than one year producing sports card content here on YouTube. You don't have to be subbed to my channel or anything along those lines. Um, if you do put out a ballot, just make sure it gets my attention and make sure I comment on it so you can be included. And so that's that. Oh, I do want to do a quick shout out for um, God is Great. God is Great wanted to participate in the contest. However, he has been producing sports card content for over a year and he's actually eligible to officially vote in the sports card hall of fame balloting. So um, I appreciate him doing the video and doing the shout outs, but I really want to encourage him to actually do a YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame ballot. And so that's that. Now, before I get started here, I'm just going to put some cards in the backdrop. These are the newest members of the Baseball Hall of Fame. There's Adrian Beltre. There's Todd Helton. And there is Joe Maurer. So there's the 2024 Baseball Hall of Fame class. Here's my YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame patch from last year. And now I want to get on with the ballot. I have 10 names written down here on these index cards, and I'm going to show these channels off in no particular order. In fact, I will shuffle them, so they certainly will be in no particular order. But, um, you know, anybody who's done these ballots know how difficult it is to get this down to 10, just 10 channels. There's so many great channels out there, so many channels deserving of recognition, deserving a vote, a vote for this. I went back and forth. I could have easily substituted multiple channels here that I'm voting for, for multiple channels that I didn't vote for, and I could just, just as easily have justified it. But in the end, these are the 10 that I came down with. So if for some reason you're not mentioned or listed here, it's not because you're not deserving. It's not because I don't enjoy your content and your, yourself. It's just because um, this is just the way I ended up and um, how to pick 10, and these are the 10 that I ended up with. So uh, without any further ado, let me get started. Start from the back here. First up, John Wade Boggs fan. John, he's a hardworking guy. He's consistently putting out content. Um, he's highlighting a lot of other channels in the, in the community. He's supporting a lot of other channels in the community. He has a great collection. Uh, of course, a fit, an amazing Wade Boggs collection, but also uh, a great vintage collection. He's a Yaz collector like myself. And um, just a really, really great guy, really down to earth guy. And um, here's a vote for a Wade Boggs fan. Next up, Junior Baseball Fanatic 12, Liam. Liam, in my opinion, he is everything that is good about the hobby. He's a young kid, uh, 14, 15 years old, I'm guessing. Not sure his actual age, but probably around there somewhere. Um, just very passionate about the hobby. He loves vintage. He also collects modern. Um, you know, very enthusiastic. You can hear it in his voice when he's talking about his cards. And it's just great to see. I had a, a wonderful opportunity to meet Liam and his parents at the National last year. Just a great family. Uh, Liam is a very nice young man, very, um, very, um, just a great kid, and it's really nice to see him and his parents enjoying the hobby together, and there's a vote for Liam, Junior Baseball Fanatic 12. Next up here, I have J.P. Wisco, Tony. Tony, he's another guy, um, you know, he kind of collects similar to the way I do, uh, vintage and modern, and he is living in Japan. He collects Japanese baseball cards, and the thing of it, that I really like about Tony's watching Tony's channel is that he, he's very knowledgeable in Japanese with Japanese baseball cards. And me personally, I like collecting Japanese baseball cards as well, but I really don't know much about them. And so when I watch Tony's channel, I get a chance to learn. And you know, that's one of the great things about YouTube is, you know, we get to learn things that we don't know about. We see see other people that are knowledgeable about things that we like, but you know, we don't know about them, and we, we watch their channels, and we learn from them, and that is, um, you know, channels that I like, especially the ones that I learn from, and 
That is J.P. Wisco, so he gets a vote there. Next up, I've got Don's Field of Dreams cards. Don is just a great guy. Um, there's a running joke, kind of, where, you know, Don never saw a live stream he didn't like. And you know what? That is fantastic. He's putting himself out there. He's interacting with the community. He's supporting other channels. And, you know, that doesn't even mention his fantastic collection that he has. Just an amazing collection. And, you know, he's, he's one of these guys, you know, he just wants to show his cards, enjoy his cards with, you know, other people and make friends and, and just enjoy the hobby. And I love that. So Don's Field of Dreams cards. Next up here is Four Leaf Cards, Eric. Eric's another great guy, another hardworking guy, always consistently putting out content. And, you know, Eric, he's such a huge supporter in the community. And he has a saying, collect to connect. And I've mentioned it before on my channel how much I love that saying. And to Eric, it's, it's really not a saying. He, he actually puts his money where his mouth is. And he's out there. He's connecting with people, uniting people, bringing guys together. And... You know, that's just fantastic as far as I'm concerned. And the other thing I like about Four Leaf Cards is he gets his kids involved. And I think that's great. I love seeing the kids get involved and um, seeing families enjoying the hobby together. And Eric's a great guy, so he definitely gets my vote. Next up, TJ Mack Vintage Cards and Nostalgia. I could say a lot about Terry. He's just a great guy. Um, very, a very nice guy. Very, very smart has a lot of knowledge about the hobby. I love listening to him talk about cards. In fact, I could probably listen to him talk about cards and the hobby and probably many other things all day and not be bored and constantly learning things. And not, not just that, but he, like I said, he's just a great guy, very supportive, um, very kind, and very much deserving of a Sports Card Hall of Fame vote here. So he definitely is getting my vote. Next up, Card Closet, Eric. Eric is another guy. He's, you know, he doesn't really collect the same as me either. He um, is a set builder. He collects all different sports. He collects vintage, modern, you name it. Big Red Sox collector. And um, the thing that is with him is he just, again, he just wants to show his cards. He's very knowledgeable. I, I'm always learning something from watching his channel. And he just wants to show his cards, enjoy his cards with, with you know, his friends here on YouTube. And um, that's, that's the way it should be. And I think that's great. And Eric, Cod Closet, he gets a vote. Next up, BDK and Saul. Saul is an OG here in the YouTube community. He's been producing YouTube content for almost 12 years. And you know something? Anybody who's committed to, to doing that for that long of a time really is a testament to his, you know, how much he really just enjoys doing this. And, you know, he, again, different type of collector than I am, but I still very much enjoy watching his videos. I like seeing his pickups. I like seeing what he's collecting. He's a more of a modern collector and a set builder. And, you know, I, I very much just enjoy watching his videos. And the other thing about Saul is, again, big supporter in the community. He's always, you know, leaving comments for other channels. And, you know, to me, it's it, there's a common theme here. There's great guys and big supporters in the community. And, you know, that's that to me is very important. So next up, Vintage Card Steve. Steve's another great guy. Um, just uh, very down to earth not looking for any accolades or any praise or anything like that. He just goes about his business, shows his cards, um, very, very knowledgeable about sports, baseball especially, and, you know, the cards and the hobby. And he's always doing shout-outs. He's shouting out channels all the time. I see him all over the place supporting other channels, leaving comments, and just a great guy, no drama. And that's the way I like it. And Vintage Card Steve, I think, is very deserving of a vote here, so he gets that. And last but not least... Jimmy Guns. Jimmy just missed out on the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame last year. I think he fell maybe only a handful of votes short of getting in. And um, he's, a, he's a really cool dude. And you know what? He he does his gun show where he sells cards and auctions off cards um, on a quite regular basis. I'm not, not Maybe not every week, but, but very consistently. And quite often, you know, the cards he's auctioning off and selling, you know, he's not pocketing the money. He's supporting charities and he's supporting people that are in need and um help trying to help others out and that's just a testament to the kind of guy he is and um like i said he just he fell just short of the um sports card hall of fame last year and he's getting my vote and i hope he gets in and that's it those are my 10 best of luck to all these guys i hope and i expect that at least several of them are going to get in hopefully at least five of these 10 will get in and that's all i got thanks everybody for watching talk to you all soon bye for now